tracks. I'm Bobby the Wolf Mullins, your paranormal jock jock, your DJ, and yes, the music's loud, and yes, I'm the outlaw paranormal. I'm the number one bad boy. If you don't like it, word. Suck it. That's right, suck it. Let me give my disclaimer right quick. If you don't like what you see, the topics, the language, the equipment, my God, turn me off. But if you do like what you see, the topics, the language, hell, the equipment, my God, turn me on. That's right. Well, the wolf dress. I'm Bobby the Wolf Mullins, your number one bad boy, the outlaw, the undesirable. Yeah, I'm the one they're scared of. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. I went through the motions. We did our favorite part of the disclaimer. And uh, hold on, guys. Hold on. You got to hear this sound. You got to hear this sound. That's my sound of the week every week. I love that sound. It's like angels in a choir, guys. I love it. Oh, my God, I love that sound. Well, look, this is going to be kind of a tough show for the wolf, but I'm going to man up, nut up, and do this show. It's, uh, it's a tough month for Bobby the Wolf Mom. You notice the scenery's changed a little bit. Well, you see the jackets back there. Let me get out of the way here. The middle one is my old jacket in high school. And the original, that's the original White Wolf jacket. The one beside it, the other blue one. On that, uh, I'm sorry, on that side. Uh, that side. Ha ha ha! Woo! One too many of these already, baby! And Chuck, brother, this one's for you. Woo! Yeah, baby! That was for you, Chuck. All right, look, here we go. That's Chuck's jacket, Metal Wolf. I lost him a long time ago. Chuck was born on July 30th, 1971, a year after me. He died August 13th, 1999. He didn't even get to see the year 2000 roll in. I lost my buddy to cancer. It's hard having a brother leave. It's hard putting a brother in the ground. And uh, this 13th, Probably be the 12th. Fucking work won't let me off. Yeah, I dropped the F bomb. Too bad. I gave my disclaimer. Alright. Anyway, work won't let me off, so I'll probably do it on the 12th. But I'm going to go sit out there. I'm going to toss down a lot of these with my brother. And I'm going to reminisce and talk to him. Because I'm missing. And the other jacket, if you see it, the other jacket on yeah, that side. Ah, like I said, one too many of these, and I'm dyslexic. Right here on this, uh, on this side. Ooh, which way? This side. That's Stephen Wolf. A friend of mine named Al Dixon. Uh, that's a remake of the original jacket because his lovely better half. Ooh, boy, that's a stretch, isn't it? Torched his jacket. Yeah, the jacket he wore in high school. She torched it in a grill because she said it was satanic. It was evil, pure evil. And I, Bobby the Wolf Mullins, White Wolf, I'm evil. That's what she said. I'm a bad influence. Yeah, I'm the undesirable. I'm the outlaw. The number one bad boy. The heavyweight champ. That's right. But anyway, not like I hold any ill feelings towards the crazy mother. Whatever. Anyway, he's a brother and always will be a brother. And these were the three in high school. I'm an 80s brat. I can't help it. Always will be. Live and die an 80s brat. And like I said, for my brother that fell, these are for you, man. And come Monday, I'm going to get so tanked. Don't you? I'll probably sleep at the fucking gravesite. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll be passed out face down. Oh, damn, these are good. Oh, my God, these are good. Nothing like a cold, guys. Yeah! Now, let's get to the topic at hand. Like I said, it's going to be a tough show for the world. But like I said, I'm going to nut up. And uh, we're going to do a hell of a show. I've got a topic for you that's kind of weird. A little off. It's paranormal. But then again, it's not. I, I don't know. The question was posed to me uh, by a gentleman. And it, it made me think. Okay, guys? Ooh. Man, nothing burps like beer. Woo! God, I love beer. Anyway, the question was posed to me. And this is how it was worded. So listen. What religion was I born into? 
Not what religion I believe, but what religion was I born into? Now think about that for a second. Throughout history, throughout all of history, there have been gods. Things that people prayed to, worshipped, idolized. Now, they were born into it. Now, let that roll around in there for a second. Let that roll around. I'm Methodist. Now, I believe there's a God. I don't have any proof. I don't know what the guy looks like. Or for you, you, uh, let's just say that play for the same team as Bobby. I don't know what she looks like. Yeah, feminists. I don't know what she or he looks like. And I don't, I don't believe it's a chick. But, you know, we'll go, I, you know, I don't care if you hate me or not. I really don't care. All right? Because I'm drinking a cold one, and I, this is for my buddy, and like I guess they two words. So there you go. But I don't know. I have never seen my God. Okay? Now, it's kind of like, it's kind of like believing in Santa. Okay? When you're little, you believe in Santa. All right? You never see the guy, but you believe he's there. Now, I'm not saying Santa and God are the same thing or whatever God you worship is the same thing. But the proof you have is writings by a human documenting this supposed God's life. And you, the fans and whoever, were born into it. You were born into your religion. You didn't have a choice. Now, let's get into that. Christians. Muslims, Hindus, Buddhists, atheists, the non-denominationals. I mean, you know, you, you've got all these different religions, and all the kids are born into this religion. They're taught by their parents because their parents believe in this religion. They didn't have a choice. Now, you will change your religion upon research that you do on said religions. But you're born into your religion, so you're born into a hate group. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying that all religions are hate groups. But look at the past. Look at the past. And Christianity is going to jump up, we never did anything wrong, blah, blah, blah. Hello, Crusades. Catholics, hello, Crusades. You killed in the name of religion. What God what God wants you to kill your fellow man or woman in his or her name? Now, I'm sorry, but I'm not following. I'm not following the path here. I'm not getting this. Because you're reading scriptures, and it's your interpretation of what these scriptures say. So you have followers, devout followers. Then you have the extremists. All right? Because I know people, Bobby Wolf Mullins meets people, sue me, it ain't just a black backdrop and some lunatic drinking a lot of beer. I actually get out of the house. I know. Shocker. I know. All right, but there are people that denounce their Christianity to become Muslim. Or they denounce being Muslim to become Christian. Or they denounce Buddhism to become Jewish. Or Jewish people, or religion, that want to be Buddhist, or hell, all these religions, and they become atheist, or they become non-denominational. In other words, they believe in everything. Now, why is that? No God, all right, in my opinion, and everybody's entitled to their opinion, all right? And it's like my mom always said, everyone has an opinion. They're a lot like... They're all different. Some of them just stay. They all stay. But anyway, everybody has their own opinion. They're just different. Now, I, Bobby the Wolf Mullins, doesn't believe in any God that condones killing your fellow man for said religion. Now, in saying that, do I believe in Muslim religion? Do I believe in Buddhist religion or... Catholicism or Jewish or Hinduism. 
Everything has its place, guys. Every religion has its place. But think, what is the basics? What's the basic thing that we all have? I don't give a damn what continent you live on. I don't care what continent you live on. What's the basic thing we all have in common? We're all class. On, hello? Yes, yes. You said the one in the front row. Yeah, you said it. We're all human. We're all human. And, and as humans, <laughs> good job. Way to go. You get an attaboy, a little gold star. All right, as humans, what did we, what did our God or gods give us? Wow, what did they give us? They gave us the ability to think. Okay, so we use our mind. They also gave us free will. The ability to make our own decisions. So we're choosing now. We're born into our religions, but we choose whether or not to follow them or not. All right, so this is the quadri I'm into, okay? This is what eh, got the old wolf's juices going in the brain pan up here. You know, th the size of this head isn't the whole nickels, okay? It's not a piggy bank. There's actually a brain up here, okay? So, you know, I'm just thinking, what makes one religion more right than the other? Now, God, I gotta have another one of those. Did I say God? Oh yeah, of course I said God. I gotta have another one. Oh, and oh my God! You know what? If there was a church revolving around beer, I think I'd join it. <laughs> Welcome to the uh, holy faith of that noise and the aluminum can and the amber liquid. Uh, I'm Father Tore Down. Uh, I'm, yeah, that's me. I'm Father Tore Down. I'm Father Tore Up from the floor up. Uh, oh, whoo! Another burps like beer. Well, look, you know, a lot of you devout religious people are going to think this is sacrilege. It's not. It's not sacrilege, okay? I might be poking fun at religion, and I might be opening your minds to this, but think. You were born into your religion. Your parents were this religion before you were even around. And they were taught by their parents and on down and on down and on down. So they were born into their religion also. It wasn't that you had a choice. It wasn't the fact that you researched this and come up with your own opinion and thought, well, this one's better than that one. I believe this more than that and, you know, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Because there's still people who follow Thor. Yeah. There's still people who follow Thor, the god of thunder, the Viking god. Yeah. The thunderer. The man who rides the chariot pulled by goats. I never understood that. I never understood why a god of thunder would be pulled by a chariot of goats. You would think it would be something more, more manly. Uh, but, but goats apparently are it. But there, there's people that believe in this. Think of the Wiccans. I mean, they're a nature-based religion. People often confuse them with witches, satanic or satanistic. Okay, let's go into that. Look at look at look at the religions you're following. Look at your religion. Now, Wiccans that I know are nature-based. They want to help. Natural remedies, natural herbal remedies. Their quote unquote potions are basically medicines that they're making from nature. Okay? But now, Wiccans have the extreme side too. Okay? You have the light side, quote unquote light side. Then you have the dark side, which are the ones you get your quote unquote dark witches from or evil entities. Well, now Christianity is a great faith. But then you have the Crusades. You have followers who believe in God and the fact that you can repent and all is forgiven. But then the devout followers went and slain everybody who didn't believe. The, the radicals. Muslim religion, as a religion, is a good religion. 
but your extremists believe they should kill everybody that isn't Muslim. That goes with pretty much every religion. There's always two sides, guys. There's two sides. Everything has two sides. There's a yin and a yang, okay? Everything has two sides. You're going to have your followers, and you're going to have your extreme followers, okay? Every religion. I mean, you can, you'll can you probably find an atheist, okay? An atheist that doesn't believe in any God, but yet has questions about God. I guess that would be their extreme, their extremists. The atheist that doesn't believe in God, but has questions about a God. Go figure. I don't know. But think about it. You were born into your religion. So all your Aztecs, your Mayans, your Anunnaki, your, uh, oh God, all the other races. Hell, cavemen who believe the, you know, and hell, the Egyptians who believe the sun was a god. You know, Ra and Isis and all those. And we denounce them because, well, because our religion is right. Woo! Now the birds like beer. But what makes our religion right, guys? How do we know? Have you sat down and had a cold one with your God? I haven't. My God hasn't come down and had a cold one with old Bobby and going, look, man, I just want to let you know something. I understand your, your opinion on your show, but I'm going to set the record straight. And I'm up there, and, and, and while I'm up there, there's nobody else to bro. I'm just letting you know. So pop a call and then uh, let's just sit down and discuss this and let's get your faith in order. No, that's never happened. What's going to happen? And, and this is, you know, this is what keeps me up at night, guys. Remember, I told you what I think. And I want you to think. Don't turn a blind eye to anything. This might be why I drink so damn much. But look, think about this. Think about this. All religions, every last one of them, even atheists who don't believe in God or a God, if there is a God, because I'm not downing on them. They have a right to believe whatever the hell they want to believe. But in the end, when we're not here no more, when this vessel or whatever this is, is gone, we die, we cease to pull in one more breath, then there's judgment. According to some religions, there's judgment. But now, the basic thing you have to understand is we have energy in us. That energy has to go somewhere. Where does that energy go? They've already weighed out a body. The body died. It lost so many ounces. That was the soul or energy. Now, where does that go? It has to go somewhere. You, it, They've already proven you cannot kill energy. You cannot destroy energy. Electricity. We have electricity running through our brains. We were created for a reason. Now, I've been saying that. Whatever religion you believe in, there's going to be someone or something you're going to meet. At that point, you're going to have clarity. You're going to have your justification for your religion. What happens? What happens when all of a sudden we die and realize that, I don't know, Muslim religion is fake? Oh my God, the Muslims just went nuts. What happens when we wake up and we're dead or whatever and we arrive and find out that Christianity is fake? What happens when we die and we realize that Jewish religion is not real? We, we meet our maker, the person or thing that created us. And they're not Jewish, or they're not Christianity, or, or Christian, or they're not Catholic, or they're not Hindu, or they're not Muslim, or they're not Buddhist. What happens then? Oh my God, you go into mental overload. Okay? Now, I'm not downing on any religion. Okay? Don't get me wrong. I'm not downing on any religion. I'm just saying open your mind to the possibility. That your faith, what you follow, is what you were born into. It isn't what you chose to be into. It's what you were born into. Because your family, the people who preceded you, believed in it. And the ones that preceded them believed in it also. And so on down the road. Now, if that's the case, 
you're blindly following like glass. Glass. Yeah, Johnny in the front row. Yeah, that's right. You're blindly following like a lamb to the slaughter. Way to go, Johnny. I'll give you a gold star, bro. <laughs> but no, I know this is a touchy subject. Okay, this is a real touchy subject because religion is reason a lot of wars go on. But why? Why in the hell would you go to war over religion? Why? You believe your way, I'll believe my way. We're all human. Let's just get along. Put your eight hours worth of work in a day. By God, don't fill out any harassment paperwork and toss down a coal when at home with the old lady or old man. How hard is this to do, guys? Who gives a damn if you're black, white, yellow, green, purple, polka dot, three-eyed, two-toed, whatever? Do your eight hours at work. And by God, remember. Remember, think. You're human. We make mistakes. We are human. At our basic core level, we are human. White, black, purple, green, yellow, whatever. Human. We bleed red. We're all, we all bleed red on the inside. We are human. We are, are at our basis. We are classified as humanoid or human. So no matter what religious difference you got, you cannot shake that. You cannot shake that commonality that we all have that we're human. So what? Who cares if, dude, your buddy that you're out drinking with is a Hindu? Who gives a damn if the Hindu has a friend that's a Taliban or, or a, a Muslim? Who gives a shit if that Muslim now has a closet Jewish buddy? And that Jewish guy has a couple of Christian friends. You're all shooting pool and drinking beer and having a good time. Who gives a damn? You believe your way, and you believe your way, and you believe your way, and I'll believe my way. We, as a group of humans, do not know who the hell is right until we meet our quote-unquote maker. So please, people, get over yourselves. Do not be this self-absorbed, okay? You're not that damn important, and neither is your damn religion. You were born into it, and I dare anybody to challenge me on that. I dare you. The only ones that can are the ones that researched their religion and said, no, I don't believe in this. I'm going to switch over to that. But the ones that just follow, because their parents were this religion, you don't have a leg to stand on with old Bobby the Wolf Mullins. You were born into it. You're following it like a blind sheep. And you're taking your parents' word on religion. Damn, that's good. Keep up with the wolf. Damn, I love a cold beer. God, why can't there be a religion that easy? You know, worshiping a cold beer and a good time. Why can't there be a religion like that? Good Lord. Why do you got to have all the, uh, and all the weird shit? Why can't we just have a good time and get along? That's what I'm wondering. Why can't we, uh, hell, let's start a wolf track religion. Why not? Makes It makes as much freaking sense. All beliefs are have a good time, love your fellow man, be an outlaw, and drink a lot of cold ones. Good Lord. How many followers will I get of that? Crazy. Now, let's throw a little paranormal in there, shall we? I hate to flip subject, but I think I talked about the religion thing enough. I got, like I said, get back to me, guys. One white wolf 706 at ATT.net. Or, you know, hell, you know what? I tell you what. Since my boss had a surprise for me, he calls me up. Mr. Parnell, Spirit Wolf. He's a, he's a wolf, too. I just ain't got the jacket done. He's a wolf, too. He's part of the Hexes. Uh, since he gave old Bobby the Wolf Mullins a surprise, and I'm all keyed up thinking, all right, the opportunity is hit. 
Hello, we're in the we're in the mainstream. No, 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 no. I get to help a show and blah blah whatever. If you have a question, <laughs> if you have a question about this show, by God, contact Richard Parnell at GTN. <laughs> hey Richard, I have a surprise for you. The millions and millions of Wolf Tracks fans are now going to buzz your phone wanting to know why the hell is Bobby the Wolf Mullins talking about religion. <laughs> Here's mud in your eye, bro. And by the way, I got to have some more joy. Yeah! Now, let's talk about this for a second. Oh, by the way, you're listening to Rat out of the cellar. Why, you ask? Because my Wolf fan, Track fans ask questions. You're going to ask why we're listening to Rat. Well, the jacket you see uh, over this shoulder. <laughs> over this shoulder! Because, you know, I've been drinking the Metal Wolf jacket. My buddy Chuck Coleman, rest in peace, brother. His favorite band was Rat. Rat and roll for life, baby. 80s hood, till the day we die. Now, we'll listen to Rat because he liked Rat. Oh, woo! My God, nothing burps like a beer. Woo! You know what? And I think I need another one. And it's a bush. It's a bush. You gotta love a bush. Hold on. There's nothing like sticking your teeth into a bush. <laughs> Yeah, I just bit into that can. Yes! Woo! No, I was thinking you're digging into a bush. Man! Yeah, because I had some complaints that I was talking about sticking my teeth into a bush, and I didn't. Excuse me. Pardon me. I got a little bush in my goatee, and I hate that. Well, I love that. No, I didn't look at my hand. I really didn't. But anyway, let's get a let's finish that bush off, shall we? Because uh, you know the fangs of the wolf sunk in. Woo! God, you gotta love a car. You gotta love a bush. Nothing like a nice bush that you sink your teeth into. Yeah, it goes out to the like in there, baby. That's right. I love sinking my teeth into a nice bush. Anyway, look guys, I'm going to wrap this show up. And this show, this show, goes out to my buddy Metal Wolf. I love you, bro. And I know you know the answers right now, the ones that we're asking. Because all is revealed at death. And I miss you. I think about you every day. And there's nothing worse than putting a brother in the ground. I had to stand there while I lowered you into the ground. And by God, next week I'll see you. And this show's for you. Remember. Remember all your brothers run with you. May your hunts be good. May your prey be scared. And your brothers are with you. Long live the hexes! Brotherhood of the wolf. You, me, Demon Wolf, Mystic Wolf, Dragon Wolf, Night Wolf, Spirit Wolf. Yeah, all your brothers are with you. And we miss you. This is my group. This right here is my group. There's another group right now. I'm just kind of an elder. This was the group I led. Were the originals. There was one other one, but fuck him. That's right, I dropped the F bomb. Too bad. I gave my disclaimer. I won't mention this guy no more. He got removed. But Chuck, I miss you, bro. And you know, I dreamt about you last night. And we talked. And I have those dreams all the time, man, and thank you. It helps this wolf keep a little bit of sanity. But there's nothing more painful and nothing harder than 
for putting a brother in the ground. And uh, I miss you. I miss, I love you. I really do. And there's times that I need your advice and you're not around. And uh, I try to do the best I can, man. My pack's dead. <laughs> These three here, me, I'm the only one left. One died and one could give a shit. That's right. Demon Wolf could care less. I've already threatened to whip his ass. That's right. The pack handles things the pack's way. And me and old Demon Wolf go way back. I'm talking about elementary. I fought this guy before. Demon Wolf, you know, I don't know. You're not going to watch this. But if you do, by God, you better sit down with your brother. And you better have a call with him. And you better discuss this. Oh, and you're not getting the fucking jacket back. No. There's no way in hell. No. You're not getting the jacket back. The jacket's safe with me. There's no way. There's no way I would give you this jacket back so that crazy psycho you married would torture it again. Hell no. This, These three things here are my most cherished possessions. I, uh... So mad at your old lady, Demon Wolf. I swear to God. <laughs> Woo! Another bird's like beer. Or whatever God you believe in. Well, look, this thing's ran about 30 minutes because I wanted to make a kick-ass show. Okay? And, uh... I love all my fans. And by the way, let me give a little holler, a little shout-out. Woo! What's up, England? How you doing? I hear I got a pretty good following over in the, uh... People across the pond. Well, by God, keep listening. The wolf will keep showing his show. You keep listening and you keep watching The Outlaw because I love each and every one of you. You get in contact with the wolf via Facebook, Bobby Mullins, or the internet on fa on, on email, one white wolf 0706 at att.net. Or by God, hell, just call Richard Parnell up. What the hell, right? Buzz his phone. Burn that mother to the ground. But look, I'm going to get off here, guys. I'm tossing down another one. And try to keep up. That's right. Keep up with the wolf. Hard to do, isn't it? By God, I'm just, you know, I got to have And you know, my girl, and she's been a little jealous today. But you know what? I'm a man. I'm going to drink a beer when I want to. To hell with her. <laughs> Chuck. I love you, bro. I miss you. And uh, I want you to know something, bro. The pack is getting stronger every day. There's more members. And what we started, us three, what we started is still going. And I never forget. I relive my entire life every morning when I get up. You know, I can't name names. Or, well, not dates, what well, not names, but I can't do dates. I can't give you the exact time and day and whatever. But I can remember back to when I was about three all the way up. And I usually do that every morning when I get up. My whole life flashes in front of me. And I didn't know you that long. I literally knew you from, I don't know, 10th grade out, bro. 10th or 12th. You came into Whitehaven wearing your top siders, <laughs> your little duckhead pants, your button down and tie. And you ran into some crazy white boy with a white wolf jacket on in auto shop. Yeah, you people don't know this. My buddy came from prep school. And uh, one of the most loyal members of the Hexes you'll ever find. He's my brother. Oh, I forgot to mention one brother, Southern Wolf. Sorry, my bad, bro. But anyway, Chuck, I took him under my wing because we were outnumbered. We went to a public school, and I'm not racist. But being 15 out of 1,700, it tends to get a little hairy at times. And I'm not saying the old wolf didn't get beat up. 
And I'm not saying the old wolf didn't stomp a lot of ass when he had a chance. But uh, I taught this brother what to wear and how to stand up for himself. And that was the bird. That was the creation of metal. And we miss you. And I'm the only one that goes to your site where you're buried. Your wife, your widow doesn't even go. Your adopted daughter doesn't go to the site. Your dad can't. I respect your father. He took me under his wing and said, you know what, I'm more of a brother to you than your own kin. I was always around. We always turned wrenches together. We, to we tossed cold ones down, brother. We chased women and fought like animals together. And uh, I'll never forget you. And I'm sorry this show's gone long, but this one's for Chuck. And I'm going to be there with two lawn chairs like I always am. A cooler full of beer. His favorite drink, Absolute. And nobody's going to show up but me. And I bet you, I'll bet you a year's worth of paychecks that no one's changed them flowers out except me. They'll be the same damn flowers that I put there last year. I'm the only one that takes care of that gravesite. His widow does it. His daughter, his adopted daughter doesn't. Nobody does. Matter of fact, his brothers don't. You know what? That falls on my shoulders. I'm the leader. Demon Wolf, straighten your ass up. Don't you ever darken my doorway. Because we'll settle it our way. I'm telling you right now. We'll settle it our way. And you're not going to like it. You're not going to like it at all. I've beat your ass one time. I'll beat your ass again. Wolves fight. You can't have an alpha. I'm the alpha. And now I'm an elder. Don't challenge me. I've seen you. I've kept tabs on you. You're frail. I'm not. I will beat your ass down away from Sunday. And I will make you understand why that jacket's important. And why you should be there for your brother. And for all the other brothers out there. Don't you ever. Here's a new pack. Don't you ever turn your back on your brother. Because you have an elder right now. Me. Watching. You turn your back on your brothers. And I will bring the hell down upon you. I will beat you nine ways from Sunday. I don't give a. I don't care if you think that's a threat. It is. The hex is strong for a reason. We don't accept the weak. I lost a brother. The new pack. The new pack of the hexes. You lose a brother, you'll feel the same way. And the one that does is a true pack member. Because I see my brother all the time. I go see him all the time. I was there when they put him in the ground. So you weaker members, you pay attention. You take notes and you learn. Now, let's get this thing closed out. Pay attention. Open your eyes. Open your ears and open your mind. Pay attention to what walks by, crawls by, flies by, and or slither by. By God! If you get a picture of it, send it to old Bobby and Wolf Mullins. I just might put it on the show. And, you know, I gotta... Woo! Got a little bush in my beard. That's for you, Chuck. Metal Wolf. My boy. I love you, and I miss you. And remember, let's close this bitch out, alright? Holla at your boy! Woo!